Hello everybody, Crips here and welcome. Okay, so today I'm going to do two things. I'm going to talk about batch convert and your snapshots, your video snapshots. All right, so uh, batch convert, what is it? Well, uh, Corel Video Studio comes in with a built-in file converter. That's right, it comes in with its very own file converter. So if you're trying to import a video that it doesn't recognize, you can then also convert that file within Video Studio. But I've got to be honest, I mean, Video Studio does an amazing job uh, recognizing just about every uh, format that's out there. I mean, have a look. This is quite an, ex uh, an extensive range. However, there's always that one or two people that say, well, I, it's just not recognizing it. First off, I would recommend looking at your codec. 99% of the time is codec problems. Your codec is out of date. You will need to update your codec every once in a while. A good one is probably k Light codec. So you may, may want to have a look at that. All right, but let's go back because there's still a few saying, well, no, I've got the latest and whatnot and it still won't recognize it. Okay, so go File, Batch Convert. So here is my File Converter. So now all I need to do is look for the video that uh, I want to convert. So let's say I grab this one. And I may not even necessarily want to use it in Video Studio. I may want to import it or convert it for another uh, software. But the option is there that you've got your very own file converter. So I might change this to an AVI format. I'm going to go into options. And then once you're in the options, you have again many other features to work with like frame based i might go for upper or lower frame based you can set it to whatever you want now i might go into options and i might change my compression and i might change it to say techsmith which is the camtasia program that i'm using to capture my my tutorials i convert it to that and then i can work within uh, camtasia a file that i created from corel video studio so that's kind of pretty good. Uh, it's more than just, ah, oh, this is all for Corral. No, it can be used for other software. I've stated this before and many times. Video Studio, I use sometimes just to convert video files so I can work on other projects. And a lot of, not many people realize you can do this. All right, so use your file, batch convert, and then you go in there and you can change the video format as you wish so that's pretty cool all right next thing snapshots so uh, the easiest way to do a snapshot uh, let's get a video and let's play the video a bit of noise there I won't I'll just grab my scrubber and play it okay so let's say I want to take this as a snapshot so <clears throat> how do I do this well right now it's kind of blurred so I might take a frame uh, not a Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. So here he is blurred. So I might go back a couple of frames until I see one that is not blurred. All right, here we go. Now he's opening his mouth. Is that a pretty photo? Probably not. So I'm using the frame by frame to go through my video. Now this can be tedious. Is there another way? Well, yes, there is. I'm going to use my batch file again. I'm going to go file, batch file, batch convert again, batch convert. And I'm going to create a video and I'm going to make it all into image sequence. So let's grab that very same video. I'm going to go into my options and I'm going to go to you lead image sequence. Now be very careful with this. My suggestion would be trim the video first before you actually convert this into an image sequence because you will end up creating a lot of photos because remember your frame rate represents for every second 24 or 30 photos so if you've got a minute you're going to create pretty close to five or six thousand photos which incidentally i did so let's have a look let's go into my desktop uh let's have a look oh it's worth having a look all right test it so here we go I created that very file that we just witnessed, and I end up creating close to 6,000 images. That's a, a lot of images, right? Do I really need that many images? No, probably not. But I can do another thing with it. Now, because I have these images, I can preview it. So I'm going to use ACDC to preview my video or my images. 
So there you go. Here it is. It's a little bit grainy, but let's go into the uh, Manage tab. There we go. Ignore that. So I can now go through each of these photos and find the one that I want. So let's see if we can find where he was with his mouth open before. By the way, this is a friend of mine buying his Ducati. So as you can see, there's a lot of photos here. So here we go. So you can see now, I've taken a snapshot, because it's a bitmap, uh, it's very clean. It's a very clean looking uh, video or photo. I'm going to use my uh, next arrow key. Here we go, his mouth is open again. So I can go and scroll through these images until I find one. See, blur, not blur. So here's a photo I could probably work with. To be honest, a lot of the times, I'm, I suck at photography. I'm, I always use video, and then from the video, I take the photo that I want to use. Now, okay, let's go have a look at this photo. So I can change it in, in this editing program. Uh, now I'm actually using the uh, PaintShop Pro, because in PaintShop Pro, to me, does a little bit more uh, with the photos than uh, ACDC does. Uh, and this is the pro version as well. But I use PaintShop Pro now because it's a lot easier to use, especially with the quick fixes, and then I get really good quality photos. All right, I'm not going to try and sell you PaintShop Pro because I don't work for Corel, so um, I'm not, there's no, no need for me to try and upsell products, right? I'm just being honest with what I think. Let's go back into Video Studio because there's something else I want to address. Okay, so I took a snapshot earlier of uh, him uh, with his bike. Ooh, it's really cool. Now, uh, uh, one of the viewers mentioned that, how do you save it? How do I save a snapshot? Because he said when he goes into share, there's no, there's no option to save a photo, to create a video and create a sound file. Yes, there is an option because when you take a snapshot, you have already saved the photo. Okay, how? Well, snapshot, let's go right click property oh sorry right click locate on my computer and there it is there it's in your folder it's just uh there you go so that's the actual photo that you saved before now that's cool but what happens if you add text to it how do i save it then all right let's uh let's add some words to it Ooh, it's fast okay so how do I go about saving the text with him uh, in the photo? Because again, there's no option to save it. Well, no, there is. Edit. Oh, sorry about that. I've got to go to the project. Edit. Take a snapshot. Now, I have a snapshot of my snapshot with my text. And again, right click, locate our computer. And there it is. Oh, it's fast. So, I mean, for most users, it's probably uh, obvious, but there are still a few people who are not aware of how this works. And as always, I am here to try and solve as many problems as I can regarding Video Studio and whatnot. And as always, thanks for joining.